Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. In today's episode, we will cover interview question and answers on Node.js. This is part two of the series. If you haven't checked out the part one, I recommend you to kindly do so. Also, if you have any doubts and queries, please drop them in the comment section to get free help and advice. Also, before we get started, I request you to kindly subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me. Thank you so much. Let's get started with Node.js interview question and answers part two. The first question again, we'll start with some basic background here and then jump into the complex questions. So the first question again is what is Node.js? Node.js is a web application framework built on Google Chrome's JavaScript engine, which is V8. Node.js comes with runtime environment on which a JavaScript based script can be interpreted and executed. This runtime allows to execute a JavaScript code on any machine outside of a browser. Node.js also provides a rich library of various JavaScript modules, which easily helps us in developing the uh, applications and projects faster and easily. The next question, what do you mean by asynchronous API? So all APIs of Node.js library are asynchronous which means they are non-blocking, which essentially means that a Node.js based server never waits for any API to return data. If you want to do it, you'll have to explicitly write a await or a sync. Now, server moves on to next API call after calling it and a notification mechanism of events of Node.js helps server to get response from the previous API call. So think of it this way. This is a very important question. So you need to answer that all of Node.js APIs are asynchronous, which means they make the call and then move on to the next request and so on. Whenever a response is returned, the event looping events of Node.js return that data. So this is an important question. Make sure you understand. If you don't drop it in comments, I'll be helping you with an example. Now, what are some of the benefits of using Node.js? Some of the benefits are since it is asynchronous, it is much faster. It is non-blocking. It is event driven, which means whenever the response come from the service or the server, it will be no using the events to notify of the previous response. It's very fast since it's built on Google Chrome's V8 JavaScript engine. It is a single threaded, but highly scalable. Remember, Node.js is a single threaded model with event looping. Event mechanism helps server to respond in a non-blocking ways and makes server highly scalable. Node.js uses a single threaded program and same programs can service much larger number of requests than traditional servers. There is no buffering with Node.js and hence the data is sent uh, as part of um, chunks and may not be in one go, which is where observables come into much picture. So this is a question to check whether uh, do you really understand and can you have you used Node.js? So this is more of an analytical and logical question you will be asked. Is it free to use Node.js? Yes, it is free because it is under the MIT license and is free to use. So this is another question to check your logical analytical ability. What is Node? Is Node a single threaded application? Yes, Node uses a single threaded model with event looping. What is REPL in context of Node? So REPL stands for read, evaluate, print, and loop. It represents a computer environment like a Windows console or a Unix shell. Node.js comes bundled with REPL environment, so it can be used for different operations like read, evaluate, and then print, and then loop. So these are some of the typical foundational uh, functionality that we require in Node, which is what makes it much powerful. Now, can we evaluate simple expression using Node REPL? Yes, of course, not only simple, we can even evaluate complex ones. What is the difference of using var and not using var in REPL? while dealing with variables. So to store variables, we will use a var keyword. So 
if var is so if var keyword is not used then the value is stored in the variable and printed whereas if var keyword is used the values are stored but not printed you can use both of them both the variables later so so think of it like that uh, usually in most of the programming we will be writing var right but if, when you are doing with repl it will print the value so that's the, uh, that's the uh, use of it what is the use of underscore variable in repl so we will use underscore to get the last results so it's in memory so if var keyword is not used then the value is stored in the variable and printed whereas if the var keyword is used then the value is stored but not printed so we can use both the variables later as well now what is npm so npm stands for node package manager which provides mainly two functionalities online repositories and packages for node.js and also used as a command line interface to install to work with your dependency packages so think of it this way it's a dependency management as well as online repository for all the node.js packages what is global installation of dependencies so global installation is nothing but whenever you run npm command with hyphen g as your parameter they are installed globally right so it's inside your users npm directory and which is what uh, will be available across all the other projects also so remember whenever you want to do anything which is global repository you have to add hyphen g in your command all right so the next question is what is local installation of dependencies so when you don't do hyphen g it becomes locally in that for that project inside the node mo underscore modules directory so it refers to the respective project and locally deployed packages so that that is a key difference between global installation and local and that's why in most of the development projects in deployments you will write hyphen hyphen save dev because you want to make it available in local as well as in you don't want it in global so the next question how to check that uh, already installed dependencies which are globally installed so if you want to list down all the dependencies which are globally installed just run the command npm ls hyphen g which means npm list all the packages which are globally installed using hyphen g the next question is what is package.json package.json is re represents the root directory of any node module and is often used to capture the properties of a package so if you want to see what all modules or libraries your application is using you can always go to package.json file and check the libraries name some of the attributes of package.json so you if you open a typical package.json you would see name version description home page author contributors dependencies repositories main and then keywords these are the some of the common attributes uh, you would usually find in all package.json files all right friends so that brings us to the second part of node.js i hope you are following all the questions and preparing well for your interview this, there are two more parts coming out of this after this stay tuned make sure you go through each question correctly understand it if you don't please please uh, drop them in the comment section i'll be happy to help you for free also if you like my video tutorials please do subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging thank you so much see you in the next episode of part three and four of node.js interview questions thank you